When negative people start to weigh you down, they steal your energy, confidence and dreams. How do you protect yourself from them and how do you handle them? That's the context of my video today. My name is Priya Kumar. I'm a motivational speaker and an author and I'm here in Goa making this video for you. are faced with negativity and negative people they just keep complaining non-stop about life and people and here's the thing you know this by personal experience that complaining about life and people has never helped it has never changed life or people the only way to get your way through is to tackle it headlong is to change yourself your mindset your viewpoint and your approach toward life and toward people now here's the thing, you will agree with me because we're all the same to varying degrees that nobody is 100% negative. Well, even if you are convinced that this person is 100% negative, maybe 90%, but then there is 10% goodness in that person. And sometimes that 10% is enough to solve your problem, to help you go further in life. You don't need 100%. Sometimes you just need one. Do not underestimate the power of one. I'm still giving you 10%. Now, if this is true for you, that you're surrounded by negative people or the most important person in your life is supremely negative, whether it's your senior, your boss or somebody in your family, the good news is there could be something good in them. And that is what I am going to urge you to go after, to make it your mission, to hunt it out, to extract it so that that little bit of goodness that the person has serves you and it serves him. And chances are if the person is supremely negative as you may describe him or her to be sometimes when they are exposed to their good side they want more of it they want to be more positive and you in looking for goodness would not just be doing a service to yourself to your life to your vision to your dreams but also to the other person now let's say for example you have a very very important project and for that you need your electricity bill it's a small thing you need the electricity bill of the latest month and you have stacks and stacks of files with papers in it now, while you hunt and hunt and hunt, there could be important papers like your IT returns, like your passport, like your visas, like your other things, like your property papers, things that are much bigger, but you're looking for that one electricity bill. And you know what? You are going to turn every page to look for it and you will find it because it's there. And that's the point that I'm trying to make. People have goodness and sometimes you will have to turn over 90% of the useless stuff to get get to that little bit of 10% which will help you solve the purpose that you came after and if that doesn't convince you let's say for instance you lose your diamond ring you just took it off your finger you were checking it out and it fell into a garbage dump what will you do will you leave it there oh no you are going to get all the garbage out looking for that one diamond ring and you know what the goodness in people is like that precious diamond it could be that one quality it could be two qualities for which you will pardon 98 percent of that person's shortcomings and those diamonds are there in you and they are in others and how do I know this because we all are God's children we are special I don't think God sent any demons on planet earth that is not the species that dominates this planet we are good people we are gifted people and sometimes situations and circumstances may have been so bad for people that their goodness got sidelined and got piled over by yards of garbage now if you can hold the faith if you believe in God even a little bit if you believe in that universal force or whatever it is that pushes you toward goodness and greatness even a little bit you will hunt for it you will not lose faith in it and you will strive till you find it and my case and my contention is this that look nobody's perfect I'm not perfect you are not perfect we both have our own inherent character flaws we have our own habits and shortcomings which may be okay with us but are really really annoying and irritating to people 
and we may not even know about it because it's so innate to us that while you and I may think oh yeah I'm like this there are people out there who are getting troubled by us and maybe they're not telling us and we don't know it but that doesn't mean that you and I don't have certain amazing qualities that have brought us where we are and will serve our vision forward. Now imagine if we got rejected by people based on those habits and idiosyncrasies which you and I are not able to control because we don't know about it. That would be such a big loss for that person that they did not recognize my talent and skill which could have served him but he only focused oh she's so irritating or he's like that and she's like that and so on. So if my expectation of somebody else is that look leave all of this aside that is a part of me but there is also a very very beautiful part of me and let's focus on that if that is what serves your job as it is a negativity is not serving your job right so don't focus on it go look for something beautiful and good and divine in me and if my expectation is from that person well the expectation is also from you and from me be that person who looks for good in people who looks for those gems who looks for that lost diamond ring and who is willing to roll up his sleeves or her sleeves to sift through the garbage and get there and when will that become a mission for you when your purpose is important when you're not going to allow this illusion of this negative person to affect it where you are a believer that there is good and that is all that I am going for and when you become a person who is driven by that greatness to find good goodness and greatness will become your inheritance and that is my wish for you so I hope this helps and before I go I want to tell you that you are amazing your connection means the world to me it keeps me going week after week in purpose in contribution to do this for you thank you for allowing me that so this is Priya Kumar I'm signing off from Goa Bye.